Finally, let's turn our attention to the support ecosystem for the 3911B. The support ecosystem includes an E2E community, documentation, the antenna design suite, EVA boards, the schematic bomb and gerbers to all our boards, the MCU drivers, PC software tools, Android apps. All of these are available to you to help you in your design. If we look at protocol support of the 3911B, we notice that all of these protocols are supported with the exception of passive target. So the 3911 cannot act as a passive target. It does not do card emulation. What we'll also notice is there's a difference between the discovery and the nuclear boards in terms of which of these standards each of the boards supports. And then finally for the EMV, uh, this is a very specialized case and only supports a very small subset of the uh, standards. There are three specialized development boards available for the 3911B. There are the Discovery Board and the Nuclear Board, which are general purpose boards. Both these boards support the same functions. However, they're different in form factor and in price and in software. The EMV Co reference design is recommended only for those that are doing a point of sales development. The 3911B Discovery Board supports active peer to peer 14443 A and B, 15693, and Felica. It also has automatic antenna tuning and up to 1.4 watts of alpha power using the differential antenna. It also has the possibility of driving two single ended antennas. It supports VHBR of 6.8 megabits PCD to PICC and 3.4 megabits from PICC to PCD. It has both inductive and capacitive wake up and virtually everything is selectable via the register map. The discovery board is a four layer PCB with signal on top, ground, power, and signal on the bottom plane. There are two matchings available for the discovery board. The default is for very high bit rate. So here the Q factor has been lowered to 8 and the matching impedance has been set to 12.8 ohms and the EMC cutoff filter is set to 9.6 megahertz. In addition, there's also an NFC forum matching impedance that's included. Here the Q factor is set to 17, the impedance is set to 15.5 and the EMC cutoff filter is set to 10 megahertz. To implement the NFC antenna matching, simply change the components listed in the table here to the values that are populated here. Essentially what you're doing is replacing the serial capacitor and the damping resistor of the matching network. The discovery board also comes with a GUI that allows you to control virtually all of the features of the 3911B. This includes automatic antenna tuning, wake up modes, tag polling, NFC IP, which is active peer to peer, 14443 A and B, 15693, Felica. It gives you the option to dynamically configure the device. It includes debug tools and direct access to the register via the register map. It also includes the ST25 tag editor, and you can use this to work with ST's dynamic tags. The 3911B Nuclea board has all the same features and supports all the same standards as the Discovery board. The difference between the two boards are form factor, software, and of course price. The Nuclea board features the same layout for the reader IC as the Discovery board. It also has general purpose LEDs which indicate the type of card that's being read. It also has a four turn antenna that can be detached so that you can evaluate your own antenna. It differs from the discovery board in that it does not have a microprocessor on board. In order to run the board, you would need an STM32 Nucleo board. Like the discovery board, the Nucleo board is also a four layer PCB. The top layer is signal, the second layer is ground, 
the third layer is power and the last layer is signal again. The software package for the Nucleo board is available in the STM32 cube library. It includes the documentation that describes the modules, functions, and dependencies, the drivers for the board support package, and the hardware abstraction level. It also includes the middleware and example code. 3911B EMVCO reference design features a two-turn antenna, the 3911B plus its matching, an ST-Link status LED, an LCD screen, a touch controller for the LCD screen, and a buzzer. The board is matched with a high Q factor. This is because the data rate for EMVCO terminals is quite low and it's capped at 106 kilobits per second. The impedance is matched at 30 ohms and the EMC cutoff filter is set at 12 megahertz. This is to reduce the higher harmonics that are produced by the 13.56 megahertz. And it also shifts the match into the inductive area. The AAT feature is not used on the EMVCO design. The EMVCO reference design also comes with a GUI. The main purpose of the GUI is to act as a device test environment as specified in the EMVCO specification. There's three test modes available, which are the analog, digital, and pre-validation test modes. In addition to test modes, the GUI is also used to set up the individual registers inside the 3911B. Thank you for your attention during this presentation.